with COVID, it seemed like this great opportunity to explore uh, motion capture. I've got a home studio here. Um, and so last summer, I, I teamed up with Xsense to, uh, to, to build out my home setup so that I could work with uh, producers like Nick uh, remotely and we could make things even under quarantine. Um, so I don't see it necessarily changing so much after uh, we all get out. Now, you know, we're all vaccinated, we're getting vaccinated, um, which means we can travel, we can be in person, but it turns out we've learned a lot about how to work remote in ways that are really productive. So all the pre-production work that goes on in figuring out, you know, how does this character's uh, rig match a particular actor's motion and what does the actor need to do to in their homework to learn to embody that particular actor, um, that, that skin, right? And, um, and we only need to get in person because you can direct me over Zoom, and we have a VPN, so my data pipes directly to him. That's what we're going to show you. Um, we only really need to be in the same volume at the same time if we're doing fight choreography or where the line of sight between two characters makes a lot of sense to you know, keep it real at that time. Um, and then you know, after we shoot that, come back from Vancouver. He's got some cleanup we can do kind of um, PCAP, mocap like ADR to fill in some of those corrections. Um, yeah. So let me s switch my view so you can see, you know, so here's here's me sitting in a chair, right? Um, I have on the X-Sense suit, uh, which has the 17 sensors throughout my body. Um, I have these Manus Prime 2 gloves, which gives me uh, hand articulation. Um, and then I have, a uh, standard deviation helmet with a with an iPhone mini. This is an incredibly comfortable helmet. Um, we're not doing face capture today because of course Vader is in, uh, is in a helmet. Uh, the value of this today, let me zoom out and you can see that I am seeing on my screen in front of me, Nick and myself, and when he shows the Unreal, view, I'll be able to see myself as Darth Vader in there. So if I need to do any posture correction or alignment, um, I've got it right here in front of me to work with, um, which is uh, kind of cool. It was an unexpected surprise in, in doing this work. So the last piece of tech uh, with this latest version of NVN is we've integrated uh, these uh, Vive trackers. This is a 3.0 tracker on my lightsaber. Um, we also have one on my elbow, and the reason for that is because the MVN suit is using uh, inertial sensors. It's filled with accelerometers, so it's the relative motion uh, and relative position, but we can get drift. So with uh, just one sensor on my body that grounds it with these various um, towers around the room, it locks my position into a very uh, specific place. And then when I have an object like this saber that I can, uh, you know, toss back and forth, we now have an object that can come right into Unreal and be, um, you know, be used in that sort of way. Ooh, That's probably so enough of an introduction there. Yeah. What I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll actually pull you into, I, I'm sure everyone can see on my screen now that uh, we can see the uh, what I'm looking at. So I'm going to get rid of myself here. Um, and uh, this is this is Unreal. This is just the, the viewport. So you can see I can move around here. Uh, here's our Darth Vader. And uh, we've actually gone in here and we've plugged in Live Link uh, over here. I can see this is, we're on a VPN. Uh, together so that now I can see uh, all of Eric's stuff here. So we've plugged that into here. So when we hit play, and I'm just going to bring up a camera. Uh, I've got a, I've actually kind of got a, a cool little rig behind me here, if you guys can see this. Now, this is a virtual camera rig. It's kind of a, a physical version of, or a physical controller for uh, 
what we're looking at here. So um, what I can do is I can switch this on. And what we're going to do is we're just going to go through a couple of shots here. I'm going to show you the process of how we do it with uh, Unreal Engine and virtual production. So I'm going to turn this on here because this helps uh, the DP. This is kind of just, yeah, it plugs directly in here. This helps the DP um, actually see what he's seeing. Uh, I'm using a, a Decklink media capture card. So when I hit play here, actually, I'm just quickly plug that into the cam. Okay, and then I'm going to play that. And then you're going to be able to see. Oh, hold on. Let's just start that again. So, yeah, actually, this uh, virtual camera here has. Um, let's, I'll show you here real quick. Uh, this is uh, the virtual camera here is just a rig and it's using an HTC Vive controller with a 3D printed part on it and that right there uh, controls everything so I have to make sure that that's on and being tracked by my sensors and we'll hear a beep here okay so it's beeped so now we've got this here and then now when I play uh, when I go over here uh, and when I play that you're going to see I have physical Kind of gave it a Dutch there, but let's take a look here and see. So here, here's our shot. I'm gonna restart that so you can see the cool stuff. Um, but again, I've got full control using that. So that's how we're gonna be doing a lot of the stuff that we're doing. So um, I'm gonna put the camera back in so you can see what I'm doing. Um, but you can see that I'm actually moving this and it's going so I can even capture that and then you'll see if you see on the back there you can see what I'm seeing I'll full screen that for you guys so um, focus but now you can see that this camera is, is showing me so as a DP what I can do is I can dis uh, disable or open this, pop this out of here. And it's just a camera rig that I can actually go around and I can kind of, you know, I can DP, I can see things, I can do whatever I need to do. And I don't have to be looking at the com computer and going back and seeing where I'm at because, you know, that's that. So, um, really handy rig for some of that stuff. So, I guess what I'll do here is we'll go ahead and we'll we'll get some shots. We'll get into some shots here, and uh, and keep in mind this isn't rendered. None of this is rendered here. Uh, this right. is kind of our it means we're we're going to stream it in real time. Yeah, streaming in real good. time. You don't get the extra anti-aliasing and all the extra ray tracing and all that fun stuff. So uh, when we do uh, render out everything, then it will be at a much better quality as well. Even though it is pretty decent quality here. Uh, running on a 1080, an NVIDIA 1080, uh, which is pretty amazing. It's got ray tracing on, um, just lower settings, but it, it looks beautiful.